Todd and Julie Chrisley are incarcerated in nightmare conditions. It's a given that prison would be far from the luxurious lifestyles that former Chrisley knows best actors Todd and Julie Chrisley have become accustomed to, but according to their children, their new digs may not even be up to health code. Chase and Savannah have stated that being in jail is a nightmare for their parents, with mold, asbestos, and even snakes everywhere. Chase was recently able to pay a visit to their father in prison. And, as Savannah mentioned on her Unlocked with Savannah Chrisley show this week, he was unimpressed with what he discovered there. They called their parents' living arrangement a nightmare, and when Chase came to visit, Todd told him about the cluster of everything going on at his facility. They are both said to be without air conditioning. Chase verified on the podcast that none of his parents' institutions have air conditioning. Todd's is the Federal Prison Camp in Pensacola, Florida, and Julie's is the Federal Medical Center in Lexington, Kentucky. They're both in states where it can get up to 100 degrees and there's no air conditioning. Chase explained. Savannah, on the other hand, claims that their parents' biggest issue is a lack of air conditioning. She claims that these prisons are also contaminated with black mold, asbestos, lead-based paint, and snakes, and that her mother has seen snakes just casually slithering on the floor in front of her, including in her sleeping cell. Savannah and Chase are really struggling to think of their parents living in facilities like this. At the end of the day, it's my parents. I mean, I don't expect anyone else to feel bad for them. People don't have any sympathy until they're in the situation and it's their loved one, Chase said. Todd and Julie still have a while to go. They both just began serving their sentences this year for their tax crimes, with Todd serving out 12 years and seven for Julie, with both of them being put on supervised release for three years afterward. The Federal Bureau of Prisons has yet to reply to these allegations. A request for comment on Savannah and Chase's claims received no answer, according to Insider. Savannah, on the other hand, appears to feel that justice will be done when the truth is revealed. There are some things that are going to come to light that are disgusting, she stated on the program. It will leave people speechless about what happens in the facilities. I'm prepared for that time. It's insane to sit there and see mom and dad go through that. But happily, they're fighting.